to match the day seven. We've got some fantastic games coming up to you. But we start at Upper Lumsdale, where the staff team take on the year 11s. Your commentator is Ron Jedhead, and your summariser is Julio back at the pass. Welcome to Upper Lumsdale for what promises to be an exciting encounter between two attack-minded teams. A crowd of about 27 is on hand to create a fantastic atmosphere. Here are the starting lineups for the staff. Bridden in goals. Last week set a club record of two consecutive clean sheets. The pace and guile of Moss at centre-back alongside Shirtcliffe will be undoubtedly be asked to deal with any aerial threat. Brooks and Crawford at left and right back respectively expect to see them bombing forward to join the attack. Carline and Savage is the classic example of young and experienced in central midfielder. I expect Carline to hold to allow Savage to get forward. May and Platts on the wings to supply crosses to Reddard and Bates up front. Reddard, of course, who turned down a £100 million a year deal at Real Madrid last summer to stay with his boy head club. And the Year 11 team features a host of internationals on show, all looking to impress ahead of the Euros. They'll play a very fluid system. In goal, the ever dependable Baker, a fantastic shot stopper. Centre backs of Gill and Richardson starting to form a really solid partnership. Backed up on the flanks by Atterborough and Kenny, making a really difficult nut to break. The midfield and attack tend to rotate to expect to see Haslam Crowder, Wild Batty, Insley and Smith pop up all over the pitch. They are a real handful. Mark Stewart there leading the teams out. Fantastic atmosphere. The traditional Champions League music. go classic way of getting any game underway the national anthem the two teams shake hands this is set to be a gripping encounter julio what do you think i see yeah yeah nah kicks off wild with a lovely back pass there picks up by kenny the movement that's a big strike from Carl. oh baker down smothers it well here he is the big striker looking tired is he looking for oh cold today as well Oh, here we go, Smith on the ball with a toe poke for... Oh, well watched there by Bridden in goal. Gill takes on one. Rabona around the back. Oh, no one must pick that up. That's a shame. Smith. Smith. Oh, oh, that's a disgusting tackle. Surely that's a red. It's the... It's a red. Up for big man on the ball. Charges for... Ch 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 he probably should have got a shot away earlier then. Inslee does Moss like a kipper. Takes the ball forward, strikes it through. What a save by Bridden. That's why they call him England's number one. Here we go. Bates with the corner. It's a big outswinger. Savage rose like a salmon and headed it like a tuna. Savage on the outside. Mercurial chip. It's arm oh, just over the box. Well watched by Baker there. Moss playing it out from the back. Crawford with it. Nobody saw that come in. Crawford. Bridden deals with it well. Dink down the line by Carline. Big man's forward. And that's the worst overhead kick anyone has ever seen. Warburton on the ball, the substitute. She's come on on the left wing. She's she, that is a clear yellow card. An absolute disgusting bit of play. Inslee shakes off the tackle of Moss. Plays it out to Batty. Inslee again. Oh, blocked by Moss. He is all over the pitch like a rash today. Not sure what that was, but we should probably keep that in our pocket. Still going and Savage dispossesses. Great tackling those two there. Batty. Batty picks the ball up. Shoots. Sees the keeper off the line and it is in. What a strike by Jack Batty. Fantastic goal. Team celebrating together. The crowd has gone wild. For 70 minutes, we'll let them know. Staff, here we go. Bates runs forward, <laughs> passes to no one. Picked up there, well away by Shirtcliffe. If in doubt, hoof it out. Savage is through. Cameraman's got excited. Brings him down. That is surely a penalty. Brooks steps up. Yes, he scores and notches for the staff. That's 1-1. One, one. That's Brooks' first. The crowd are going crazy. That's Brooks' first ever penalty. And that's half time. Great game. Great game. Ball's kicked off with Shirtcliffe. Keeper. What else the keeper doing there? That's, that's an own goal. That's, keeper is clearly not happy with his back four there. 
letting him know that as well. Keeper. Oh, it's a great save for the keeper. Pushes it and he's down again and he's up. And he's down. That is some brilliant agility from the goalkeeper. Here he is. Keeper grabs the ball. Bounces it once. Stumbles it. He's got hands of Teflon, that man. Inslee takes it round Brooks like he's not even there. Keeper comes out, spreads himself. Oh, brilliant goalkeeping again by the goalkeeper here. Here we go. Big clearance here. Oh, it's a missed kick. Well cleared up by Bridden. Haslam on the ball. Sees the keeper coming out and dinks it over. That's a lovely finish. World-class finish from a world-class striker. Jamie Smith on goal. Keeper dives full length. Should have dumped. I think the keeper... Julio, I think the keeper will be disappointed with his ad. Keeper again, not happy with his defence. Wondering what on earth is going on here. Oh! Another... Dirt. The referee really needs to get a grip of this game. There's some dirty challenges going in. Keep a great save. One of the, that is a world class. Holy, oh well, the glass is uh, Brooks thinks the ball in. Keeper flaps at it. Britton picks it up. Turns inside. Turns one man outside. Comes to Molyneux. Oh, great save again by Baker. Surely that's offside. It's offside. The referee. He's given. He's given the goal. Ball comes forward. Oh, that's a fantastic effort just against the And the follow up by Bates. Pure go the look of delight on the goalkeeper's face. Ball is too forward. It's a spinner. What's the keeper going to do? It's spun over his head, is it? Oh, he recovers really well. And well defended there as well. Platt's shot. Oh, another chance goes begging. Really got to start taking these chances now. The staff matches are. Even the managers on the pitch. Is this 13 versus. See, it's a 13 versus 12. A 13 versus 12. A football is 11 versus 11. Thank you, Julio. And that's full time. The year 11 5, staff 2. Shaking hands. What a fantastic match. Julio, your thoughts? It's a great game. Back of the pass. Back of the pass. A great game. Right, so we've got a couple of the winning year 11 team here. We've got uh, Josh and Alex. First of all, uh, well done, lads. Good performance. Uh, tell me what you thought. Oh, I thought it was a brilliant game. And yeah, I so uh, there's the match ball. Congratulations. Take that home with you. Well done. Um, Patrick Hero, tell us how you're feeling. Is he in it? Yeah. Tell us how you're feeling right now. I'm over the moon, obviously. It was a pretty decent game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well played. I thought you were probably the best uh, staff Thank member out there today. You really led from the mid, uh, middle second, there. Second minute. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, tell, me, tell me how you're feeling now. Uh, a little bit tired. Uh, yeah. Now I've got to go and do another shift, uh, but uh, enjoy the game. Yeah. Uh, the boys played well. We've got well. the uh, winning manager here. Uh, tell me your thoughts after that. Obviously, you've put a lot of work in, I can tell. I just thought it was my tactical genius, <laughs> to be honest. Powerhouse. Really, really dominant. Probably the best I've seen you play football. You've been in school um, five years. Played for school five years and I've never seen either of you play that well. Um, why did you leave it so late? Well, you know, it was just easy opposition made us look better than we were, to be honest, because, frankly, starting off with Red Red up front, he was, he's a big unit and his <laughs> movement he just wasn't doing anything, really. He was just got subbed off after, I think, it was 15 minutes, which is just embarrassing, if you ask me, really. Well, I think, you know, this was one of our best performances. Me and Evan, you know, played together for a good couple of years now. The, the chemistry's really come together and I feel putting in some of our best performances and hopefully you know we can get called up for Brazil is it yeah yeah all right so we've got uh, Mr Crawford here a member of the uh, well I'd say winning in stature tell me uh, obviously really disappointed I can tell that this meant a lot to you tell me tell me I can see in your eyes tell me your thoughts I tried to kick the ball to my teammates and every time I tried to kick it to my teammates it didn't go to my teammates and I tried to run faster than the, the opposition and got them faster than the opposition, so... What's your plans? What are you going to do now just to make sure you relax and try and put this behind you? I think retirement. Is, uh... <laughs> is, that, is that official? Is that an exclusive? Yeah. OK, that so we've got Mr Platts here, another uh, member on the staff team. Must be really disappointed. Tell me your uh, initial thoughts uh, straight after the game. Well, it was very well contested, but I am gutted that we didn't win. It was... Look, I don't feel the scoreline reflected the true nature of the game. Uh, Mr O'Reilly, Mr Riggett, um, tell us your thoughts on, on your performances out there today. Can yeah. you um, just tell me, tell me how you're feeling right now, please? Well, it, it's been months in preparation. Um, the training, the running, you know, all the passing we've been doing, and, and I don't know what went wrong. You know, I think we were robbed, to be honest. And the, obviously there's been some uh, talk about you in the press recently in your private life. Has that, did that affect you on, on the pitch at all? A little, a little. Um, I, I didn't know it was out. 
Yeah. Do you know about it? Uh, yeah, you. Uh, I believe it's rumours. Obviously, I can't say. But you in the casino and the uh, the uh, the uh, man with three heads. <laughs> So, some fantastic footage there. So, Jamie, tell me what your thoughts on the game were. The goalkeeper didn't look great, did he? Daddy, yeah, the goalkeeper's had an absolute shock of it. For me, as a defender, I want him coming out and I want him cleaning the ball for me. Uh, when I was at Liverpool, I don't know if you know, I played over 500 times for the club. Uh, I played in front of some great goalkeepers. And this fat boy is not one of them. For me. For me. Liverpool Football Club. Alan. Big disappointment for the fans there. Surely this heaps more pressure on Coach Wild Goose. Can he keep his job? How will you let Gary? Yeah, I mean, she, <laughs> no way. I mean, she's lost two games on the boots new. There's absolutely no way I think she'll be there next season. I mean, I played under some great managers. I mean, Sir Bobby Robson. How we the lads, and I tell you, she's got nothing on them. I'll be stunned. How we, man, if she, oh, how we played for England. Goal! How we, if she's still there next season. So, Gary. Big European night next week for the staff. How are they going to cope, cope with the speed of Fuengirola? Uh, I mean, you know, uh, I know Fuengirola really well from my time as coach. A manager of Valencia, uh, I don't think they'll, they, they won't, they won't be able to match Storm for power or pit. No, you know, I mean, when I play, I mean, I played at Old Trafford for, uh, so Alex, so, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh. Well, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. You've seen some high quality football. I'm going to leave you now with a few words from Jamie Carragher. Yeah, anyway, it was a great game to watch and I really loved it. The year 11's played so well, I'd be prepared to play with any of them at Liverpool Football Club. I don't know if you know, I played over 500 games for them. Eh, for me, eh, Liverpool Football Club. Eh, for me, well done year 11s. Eh, for me, you were. Eh, deserve the win. Eh, for me. Eh, good night.